Okay, this video here takes a look at my calendar. You'll see it right over here on the side. It's a plug-in that we're using for the calendar for this website. You'll see it right, right here. It's my calendar plug-in. So this particular video is just going to be an introduction to it. And the following videos will be how to do stuff with it. Take a look at my calendar on the front end of the site. Whoops, let me close that. Let's just use this. We have two calendars here. This calendar widget is showing the calendar, the events calendar, which is this one. I have this listed in in a grid view. This is what's called a grid view here. And it just has the various business meetings and special meetings such as the Alcathon. The meeting schedule is the second calendar. Well, it's actually a combination of two calendars. One's called the Area AA Meetings. And the calendar of events are all pulled into this one. And I have this set to the daily view here. And of course, if they want, if uh, someone wants to see it the week or the month, they can do that. And they go to previous and next events as well. So getting back to the overview, my calendar right here, first thing you deal with here is the settings. And the settings here, most of the defaults are going to be okay. Uh, I did change, this was, uh, it said this week's events only, I added the word meetings there so people won't get confused. And the rest of these default settings are just left as is. But this that's where you would make any settings changes. Here we have where you would add a new event and I will the next uh, the next video actually will be the one that will go over on how to add a new event. You also have the ability to manage your events. You notice right here we on this particular between the two calendars we have a total of three pages of meetings and events okay and categories are this is actually categories and the calendars are actually the same thing one calendar is events the other calendar is categories you'll notice on add new event which I will go into a little more detail you need to actually determine which which one you want it to be on either like for this one for example is the area A meetings and then you have events. Locations, the calendar also includes the ability to add the address and we use regions as well and as you notice on the website we have a uh, district info districts 13, 21, and 22. Those are the regions I use in this particular calendar. It's, in, it's important because it is a filter that we will use which will be just demonstrated in a later event. You can group your events. As you'll notice here I haven't grouped any so I'm not really going to go over grouping events. Style editor if you want to change the look of the calendar you know such as your uh, font, uh, weight, font type, various backgrounds and whatnot I recommend just you know leaving that as the default script editor please don't mess with that at all uh, template editors various templates are included with this you can actually edit those make some changes if you want I just kept the defaults you can settings help now the help tab is important because this is where all your short codes are listed short codes such as my calendar and my calendar with various other things are are short codes that you put into the pages. Let's go to the pages here. And you know this area meeting schedule. It's got the if you'll notice here I put some text in here and then I put a short code. This is my calendar with no category actually pulls information from both calendars. And then the formats in a list. A time frame allows a person to change it from uh, daily to week and to month view. The default view is going to be the day view though. All that's in that short code. This tool right 
let me see yeah right here actually generate your short codes for you so it's not like you have to memorize a whole lot I'm gonna have a separate video to actually go over short codes but the list of short codes can be found right here on the help tab right here if you need additional help you can contact the uh, the person who who the developer of the script I have been I've communicated with him a few times very friendly uh, fairly quick to respond very helpful I do have a fact that you can read first uh, I have purchased users guides so anytime that you if you do need to get in touch with them go ahead and check that and let them know that it was me that purchased users guide so I know users guide has been purchased for this, this is how he makes his money to the, the, the plug it was free but he asked for donations or free to buy the user's guide which I will turn over with this website at that time to you so that's the overview of my calendar the, the following videos will go into a detailed explanation on how to do to add an event and edit event manage events uh, and the locations and etc but that there just gives you a good overview of my calendar, which is a plug-in offered at the WordPress website.